Hello there and thanks again for joining us. I'm really glad you did. Because it's this time of the year, we're going to be painting these Christmas decorations and it's going to be a lot of fun. Come over and have a look at them. So let's get started. For our decorations, we're going to use some clay. Uh, excuse me, sir, can I just uh, grab this? Thank you. We'll be using the Montmartre air dry hardening clay. So let's open this out and lay it on the table. Montmartre air hardening clay comes in two colors, white, which I'm using, and terracotta. It's also provided in two sizes, 500 gram packs and two kilogram packs. That's the size here. So I snip off flat sections, lay them next to one another and blend them smooth. So the first step in construction is to lay our clay out like that, relatively thinly. I'm then going to take a spherical object. You might like to use a rolling pin. And we just flatten this out. There, that should do it. Uh, this is about mm, five mils thick, but it's not that important. The next step is to print out one of these. And this can be found at montmart.net. Just go to the Montmart TV section and choose the appropriate lesson and you download the PDF. This is on the last page. So these, with these silhouettes, we take some scissors and we cut around our reindeer. Once the reindeer is cut out, lay it onto the clay slab. Peel it off the table and then cut the shape out. Don't worry if it's a bit sketchy. It is just a rough guide. I'm using the scissors and a Montmartre hobby knife as well. And if you do choose to use one of these, be very careful as they are very sharp and pointy indeed. Now we have our basic silhouette on. We can just pull off that paper and then refine our model. At this stage, I dip my fingers in the water and give the edges a quick smooth. For refining, you might like to use the Montmartre Mini Modeling Tools. They're timber and they're fantastic with clay. To refine, you use the flat part of the wood to push and manipulate the profile into the right shape. You might like to print out another image from the PDF to refer to. Well, once we have our deer all finished and smoothed out, we can put in the eye hole. And this is also the hole where you can tie around a little bit of string to hang it off your tree. We'll also put in some snowflakes. To suggest the snowflake, create a crisscross star from four lines. Then fashion little diagonal lines from the end of each line. It might not look too much like a snowflake now, but when we dry brush, it should pick out the shape nicely. And you can make these as big or small as you like. Air dry clay is a fantastic medium for impression style patterning. Another idea might be using the end of a pencil to create balls. Many household items will create lots of interesting marks. So we'll let that dry and then we can embellish it. Well, they're nice and dry, and from this stage, you can embellish them lots of different ways. For example, you might like to use some gold leaf. But for these two, for my tree, I'd like my reindeers. One to be green and one to be red. So I'm using the Silver Series paint to do this, and I'm applying it with my number 16 filbert. So let's get this paint on. So squeeze your chosen colours onto the palette and charge the brush with just a small amount of paint and drag it over the surface of the model. If you use too much paint, the impressions will be filled with paint. It helps not to use too much pressure either. Well, I think they turned out really well. They'd be brilliant table decorations as is, or you could pop a little bit of string through the eye and hang them from your Christmas tree. The Montmartre Air Hardening Modelling Clay is a fantastic product and I think it would be a really great stocking stuffer. So thanks again for joining us 
And if you're not there now, then come over to montmart.net where we've got lots more fun lessons. And while you're there, we also have our Facebook that you could join if you like, and our family feed. And if you subscribe to that, you can get art hints and tips that'll really help you lots. So have a Merry Christmas, and until next time, keep on creating.